Ladies and gentlemen, the very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweigh the dangers which are cited to justify it. Hey, what's up? It's Austin, and welcome to the world's most disturbing declassified government documents. If you're new here, welcome to my channel where I cover the most dark and twisted things that happen in real life and on the internet. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to Boop Loops, the creator of this iceberg, and he will be linked down below in the description. Without further ado, let's get into tier one, the Stargate Project. The Stargate Project was a secret army unit formed in 1978. It was used to investigate potential psychic abilities for military use. The primary objective for this unit was to get a bunch of individuals who believed they were psychic and make them see things that weren't in the same room as them. If you've never heard of psychic viewing before, imagine this, you can see and hear a conversation going on that you were never a part of and you weren't even in the same room with. And for some of these people who claim to have been psychic, it doesn't just go as far as conversations, it goes even deeper than that. They're able to see events such as assassinations and they're able to see a whole bunch of things that have happened in history. This unit comprised of 15 to 20 soldiers and scientists. However, the Stargate project eventually fell through because it was declassified in 1995 and it just didn't have enough information inside of the document. Which gets me onto another point. A lot of people read this document and it's very, very broad and there isn't any Thing really juicy in it so a lot of people believe that the government is hiding certain things that happened during that project the acoustic kitty this project was launched in the 1960s by the CIA in order to spy on Soviet embassies pretty much they were wanting to spy on high-ranking officials if you can't already tell from what the title of this one was they took cats and they put microphones in them they did a procedure which only took about an hour long and they attached a microphone to the inside of the cat's ear canal there was a small radio transmitter in inside of the skull and it ran all the way down to the outside of their fur. This project costed around $20 million to do. The very first mission was for them to spy on two individuals outside of the park and they let the cat go over there and unexpectedly the cat was hit and killed by a taxi driver. It was declared a total loss but there's been reported that there was some actual success with this project. It was ultimately canceled in 1967 because it wasn't practical to do and it was just too much of a risk to try and teach these cats how to do something. Operation North Woods. This was a project created by the U.S. Department of Defense in 1962. The objective of this project was to do terroristic acts to American citizens so that way they would think that Cuba did it. They wanted to get as many people hating Cuba as possible so that way the U.S. would be more willing to go to war with Cuba. Some of these terroristic acts included shooting down government aircrafts, blowing up cities, and even sinking ships. All of these plans allegedly never happened because John F. Kennedy didn't want to go through with it. But the craziest part of all of this as there was more people in favor of Operation Northwoods than there were people against it. So next time you think the government cares about you, just remember this. The Gateway Project. This is the CIA project where they pretty much confirmed what astral projection is. If you were unfamiliar with astral projection, it's a really long thing to talk about, but if you've ever heard of lucid dreaming, imagine it's lucid dreaming but like 10 steps higher. And in the document, it just says that we are able to transfer dimensions within our mind. Project Sunshine. This was a series of research studies that began in 1953 to study the effects of radioactive fallout. If you're unfamiliar with what radioactive fallout is, when you see the big nuke and you see all of those clouds, all of those particles that fall to the ground, that's the radioactive fallout. And they wanted to test exactly what that fallout did to humans. So the government had the bright idea to steal deceased people's bodies. To give you an idea kind of how this worked, um, imagine your mother or somebody really close to you passed away in the hospital and you know the hospital tells you your mother's deceased and you go to bury your mom except that's not your mom in the casket the government stole her body in order to prick and prod her with radioactive material to see what it does to her this is one of the most controversial projects probably on this list because there's a lot of people in favor of this and there's even more people against this and the whole thing really just doesn't sit with me because this whole thing feels like a big chemical project and it could have been handled a lot better like maybe by getting consent from the people that are about to die to do this the pentagon 
papers. This was a leak where the US government was lying about certain raids in Vietnam. The reason I use quotation marks is because they weren't lying, they just weren't telling the whole truth. They were heightening what they were doing in Vietnam and making it look like they were just kicking ass and they wanted to get as many people to enlist as possible because if people found out we weren't doing as well in the war, people aren't going to want to go. So they purposely hid the information from the mainstream media so that way they could get as many people as possible, right? And unfortunately, during this time, Nixon was president, so the whole Watergate scandal was happening. So this scandal just kind of fell beneath that, but this is still a really, really big one. And even after this officially came out during the government leak, uh, everybody denied it. Operation Paperclip. This was a secret project in which over 1,600 Nazi German scientists, technicians, and engineers were brought over to the US in order to work. Many of these people were active leaders in the genocide of the Jews, and a lot of people are against them ever even coming over here. The primary purpose of bringing them over here was to get a military advantage over the Soviet Union during the time. There's a whole movie about this called Operation Paperclip, but one of the biggest things about this is a lot of the individuals who came over here were completely just like forgiven of all war crimes. So technically speaking, a lot of these individuals got away with mass murder. Operation Mockingbird. This was a large scale project done by the CIA in order to mass manipulate the American media. If the government has done this once before, I promise you they are willing to do it again. There's a lot of things that happen with this one. Like for example, the government started wiretapping journalists' phone calls and they were just trying to make sure that certain things wouldn't hit the media about the government. I, it's a kind of confusing, but just know they manipulated the media heavily. Operation Unthinkable. This was the name given for possible war plans with the Soviet Union. And this plan was created by the British in order to get the US involved. They realized pretty quickly at the beginning of this war that they weren't going to win unless they had the US backing them on their side. So in order to get them on their side and into the war, they planned two different things. And one attack was on the Soviet forces in order to get the will of the Western Union. That's word for word what it says. And the second one was a defense plan following the withdrawal of American forces. I'm not really sure what this one means, but it wasn't decommissioned until 1998 and it's still pretty top secret. Hitler in Argentina. This is an official FBI record that says that Hitler went to Argentina by submarine two weeks after the fall of Berlin. In the document, it says that Hitler arrived with a shaved mustache, two women, a doctor, and several men. It's about 200 pages long and it's a pretty interesting read. So if you believe really heavily on conspiracy theories, it's honestly worth a look. Majestic 12. This is an alleged organization that composes of scientists and engineers where they recover fallen UFO, like, particles. The FBI came out officially and said that this project has never existed in the first place, but if you believe in aliens as much as I do, I'm telling you, it probably exists. Which would be kind of cool because it shows that the government is actively looking for aliens. Operation LAC. This was an army chemical core operation where they would throw chemicals in the US, like in the air. They would throw these chemicals in the air in the US and inside of Canada. And they were kind of just testing and seeing how far certain chemicals could travel. Like for example, I'm based in Atlanta, Georgia. So if they were to drop chemicals in the air here, over the next few months, they would kind of just watch those chemicals go from Georgia all the way up to Canada and just kind of see how far it would go. And they were dropping zinc sulfide particles and this project was a success. And the whole primary purpose of this was to test what chemical warfare and weather manipulation can do in war conditions. Animal mutilations. This was a joint FBI and CIA investigation done in the 70s and 80s. And this is by far one of my favorite ones on this entire iceberg. For some unknown reason, some cattle farmers were reporting that their animals were being slaughtered, yet there was no blood outside of the body or inside of the body. Like they would open up a dead cow and it would be like there was nothing inside of it. No blood, no marks, nothing. It was like a clean, it was, I don't know what, to, it's like clay, it was like pottery, like there was nothing in it. The government spent over $45,000 trying to figure out the cause of this but never were able to and just dropped it. So that means to this day, we have no idea what animal or what thing took the blood out of all of these animals, but uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting. NSA Ant Catalog. This was a classified product catalog in the US where they were hijacking software to put malware inside of it and they were just kind of selling it to other countries. The main companies were Cisco, Apple, and Dell. However, those companies have came out and said that they were never a 
part of this. So I don't want to get sued. 1976 UFO incident. This was a radar and visual sighting of a UFO at the capital of Iran in 1976. Two Iranian Air Force jets reported losing control completely and when they tried to fire their weapons at this UFO, all of their weapon systems locked up and wouldn't fire. And the crazy thing is, is as they were going down to the ground because they couldn't control the flying, the as they were getting farther away from it, their, all of their controls turned back on and they were able to steer the plane again. They even claimed to see a bright diamond-like light falling down to the ground and the next day they had a helicopter and they went to exactly where they reported that light falling to and there was nothing there. Like there was not a trace of anything ever happening there. The Phoenix Program. This was a plan to coordinate and destroy Vietnam's political infrastructure. They planned to use every war tactic from torture to assassination to get this thing to happen. They even trained the US Army soldiers to be as gruesome as possible to strike fear into Vietnam. They wanted children, women, and men to see US soldiers and immediately become fearful. Throughout this program, over 81,000 people were were neutralized and over 26,000 people were killed. And this one is just horrible because a lot of the US soldiers were doing such inhumane things to women and children and I can't say it on here because this video will get demonetized. But take some context clues, the US soldiers were not the good people in this scenario and they treated these people like they were objects. They eventually shut this project down but opened the exact same type of project a few years later called F6. Telepathic rabbits. This was a Soviet experience that studied telepathy. And this one's kind of unique. They took a mother rabbit who was pregnant and they let her have her babies. They then took the mother rabbit and put her in a completely different room, compound, whatever the case was, and they left nine of these babies just sitting in a room by themselves. And they took the mother rabbit and they attached what's known as an EKG machine and they put it to her head so that way they could track her brain signals coming in and out. And they noticed something interesting. Every time they would kill one of the baby rabbits, the mother's brain EKG signals would spike up. Now remember, the mother can't hear or see what's happening to her children. And this kind of proved telepathy a little bit because it just proved that the mother was able to somehow feel and like respond to her kids being killed without her knowing. CIA sex dolls. This was a CIA technique to blow up life-size sex dolls and put them in the car with them while they were spying on others so that way it made it look like there was more than one person in the car. That's really about it. The Roger Memo. This was about the space shuttle Challenger and that an engineer warned them before taking off to not let this flight happen because it would be detrimental. If you guys are unfamiliar with what the space shuttle Challenger was, there was a lot of people inside of a big spacecraft and it went up in the air and it exploded and they were killed on impact. Except they weren't killed on impact. That was the official news release. It turns out that all of them are alive and in this video you're seeing right now, they are alive inside of this little pod and they are falling to their death in the ocean. And the reason we know that at least some of them were alive is because they deployed their emergency packs and it's really terrifying to think about. However, on this iceberg, this one is just talking about the engineer that warned them. Project Pluto. This was the project designed to make a nuclear cruise missile. The best way to kind of explain this one is instead of missiles going up in the air and then coming down and blowing up, what they would do is fly completely like this. And the reason that this one is important is because this one today actually exists, but it would have been really easy for people to come up and shoot a missile down in the air versus trying to attack one that's coming just like this. Because when missiles were traveling perfectly horizontal it made it almost impossible to shoot down so it kind of just killed everybody it was in its way UFO guy memo this is a one-page document that reveals chilling details about the Roswell incident apparently investigators saw three UFOs and nine little green aliens this one's honestly just the dead end that's all that it says memo 6751 these details mention flying saucers happening in 1947 what also happened in 1947 the Roswell incident. Okay, bear with me because this one is going to sound like a lot of information and please don't kill the messenger. Apparently these aliens come from another world and they were attempting to summon a demon. The demon looks like a generic alien and if you've ever seen that one Netflix show, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll have a picture of it on the screen, uh, where they have that little statue alien looking figure. It was pretty much that. The thing about this is inside of this document, it mentions that aliens don't necessarily come from another world world they're just here like the best way to kind of explain this one is imagine that me and you are standing in front of each other but i'm in a different dimension so i can't see you and you can't see me but we're on the same plane and what this kind of goes over is that humans aren't able to see across the other plane of people there 
but aliens are able to see us and them, and they're able to also travel back and forth. I know this might sound really confusing, but have you ever heard people talk about when you go to heaven, what if heaven is on earth? Meaning that all of the dead people are here living on earth, we just can't see them. However, with this document, that would mean that they can see us. This one's really interesting, and I'd love to do a deeper dive on this, so if you guys would love to see a personal video all about the details of this one, please let me know down in the comments below. That's it for the video, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoyed this, and uh, make sure to like the video. My goal is to hit 200 100,000 subscribers this month, so we are going to have to grind. Comment down below any other icebergs you'd like me to cover, and that's been it. It's been your boy Austin. Peace.